My neighbor saw how I took my body from this to this. She wanted to jump on board, so I created her a plan. She stuck to it. Within one month, she's 30 pounds down. Back fat is gone. I'm about to give you guys all of the tips that I gave her in this one video. Stay tuned. Hey booze, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new, hello. My name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you enjoy content like this, also hit that post notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload. Also follow me on my socials at Keisha Rose too. You guys, I'm so excited that I could finally share this information with you guys. I just wanted to get the clear for my neighbor to talk about this, but... I put, she saw how I lost my back fat in a month. If you guys want to see that video, go ahead and check this video out after you watch this video. This video is simplified. She wanted a plan and she's a little bit up in age. She didn't want some vigorous workout. So I created something for her, not realizing that it would work so fast. She literally lost 30 pounds in one month. Her back fat is literally gone. I'm about to show you guys exactly what she did to do this every single day. This is so modified anybody can do this stuff when I say anybody anybody I don't care how old you are you can do this stuff okay it's just about sticking to it let me go upstairs in my gym and I'm about to show you guys step number one that she did to lose the back fat and the weight so first things first this is me this is not her I'm just demonstrating what she did she did 30 minutes of cardio per day seven days a week and she was older as I said so she could not do a full pull-up so I put her on this program to where she did modified pull-ups as if she was pulling herself up but not she also hung on the bar as well if you guys want more details on how long leave it in the comments below and I'll answer all of the questions down there but this was really key in her journey okay the next thing that we both did this is super simple you guys can do this at home literally we created our own saunas to lose the weight now I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about saunas but I'm about to show you how we both did this in our own home for free you don't even have to pay for this okay and with a sauna, the reason the reason why you want to use utilize a sauna, whether it's at home or at a gym, I know gyms are closed, so this is perfect for those of you guys who can't get out the house and have to work out and everything at home. It burns fat at a rapid rate because when you're in it, I know when I'm in the sauna, my home sauna that I create myself. I sat in here for 15 minutes just the other day and my heart rate by the time I was done was at like 120 because what it does is it gives you a free cardio workout without you even having to move. You're sitting there, you're relaxed and you're burning fat at a rapid rate, not to mention whatever else workout that you've done before you came in the sauna or after you leave the sauna, not to mention if you're intermittent fasting or doing an OMAD diet along with it, it does not matter your burning fat at a rapid rate versus if you wasn't doing this in the first place so what I did was came into the bathroom closed the door put a towel underneath my um, bathroom door and then I am about to <laughs> turn on my hot water to hot I make sure all of the windows are closed this bathroom in my house this one is a small bathroom so it works out perfect if your bathroom is small that'll work just fine that's even better the smaller the better you want to hot box it okay <laughs> Because it's going to help to burn the fat away. So I'm closed up everything and I am going to turn off, turn on my hot water and my bathroom is going to go from a bathroom to a sauna in five, four, three, two, to this. It's hot. It's steamy. It's smoky. I'm breathing it in and it feels so good. It feels good to my lungs and I know I'm burning fat. This is what you want, a steaming bath for me. You, I stopped my shower for the purposes of this camera, but you want your shower to keep on running. It, it might get steamy to where you can't even see, but you want to relax in this if you can. If you have health issues, you might not want to do it, but you want to relax, breathe it in, breathe it out, just relax in there, and you are going to see yourself burning fat. And not only is this good for weight loss, this is good for mental clarity as well. Getting into saunas really, really help you on all levels beyond just weight loss okay this is the next thing that I had her do and as I told you guys I did this myself as well I just was a little bit more vigorous with my exercises but I had her switch out all butters 
oils and all of that and switch to whole butter. I mean, whole, I'm sorry, not whole butters, whole fats. Okay. So get rid of the fake fats and all of the oils and butters and all of that stuff and get yourself on some whole plant fats that will help you. The fat you eat is the fat that you wear. This stuff, you can get way more of a bang for your buck with some whole fats, some avocados, nuts, seeds, and different things like that. Get this stuff out of your diet and I guarantee you, you will blast away fat as well. This stuff is just not good if you're trying to lose any back fat, stomach fat, any type of fat. Butter is out of the question. Oils is out of the question. If you want to stick to this plan and you want to see your results, get it out. Get it out because me and her did and we lost our back fat. I had her do as well proteins. Me and her diet is a lot different. She's seafood and I eat a whole foods plant-based diet. Her protein was fish. Mine is tofu, different things like that. And I also had her start after her workouts throwing in her some protein bars as well because one one thing about protein, you guys can get this bar, some of these bars, built bars, they are really good. Link is down below. Keisha 20 will get you 20% off. One of the main things when you're trying to lose any fat, I've seen how my back was like super just flat, flat. You need to up your protein because what you are doing is you're building muscle up. You're trying to build up that muscle. I mean, muscle burns fat and that's what you want to do. So the more muscle that you have, the better chances you are to get that flat back like you want. The next important step to our journeys was sweat bands. You guys, I cannot emphasize that enough. If you are liking this content so far, make sure to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe. Anyway, sweat bands really help when you finish your workouts, what you want to do. If you don't take anything away from this video, you you want to be sweating. I'm talking about sweat dripping down your stomach and your back as if you dumped water on yourself. That's what these sweatbands will help you with. If you can get to that point, then you know that you are blasting away that fat. No, you can't spot reduce fat, but sweatbands will help you out. And I'm getting ready to do not fast forward this video because I'm about to show you guys the stages that we went through in order to get the best results. And I'll tell you how I got her results to be a little bit better than mine. I, we started off with these bands right here. We did this in two phases. Mine, what I did was I did two weeks in this band and then I went into these bands right here. And let me further explain. With hers, I did one week in this band right here. Of course, she's not using my band. She has her own band, right? But one week in this one and then went straight into these bands right here. And you guys, her results was so much more rapid than mine. It was crazy. She saw the back fat falling off, the stomach fat falling off. It was sick. And the difference between these bands right here, this one is a much softer band. It's going to help you sweat, but this one have light boning in it and it helps you sweat, blast away the fat along with shrinking in your waist, your back fat and all of that stuff. Prime example, you guys, I went from a size large. That one is a large. Within two weeks, I had to shrink down to a small. I had to go ahead and order me a small. This method works really, really good. If you are not wearing sweatbands, anything around your waist with light boning in it as well after you, when you first start off, you're bloated. You don't want to get into this. It's going to hurt. But by, <laughs> by the second week or the first week, that's when you can get into this band right here. So you start off with one that's light and then you go into the one with the boning and you do not want to skip this step because this is going to help shape your waist, get your waist smaller. One thing that I was sure to do when I was customizing her meal plan is to make sure to add in foods that she can cook at home you guys this is so important when trying to lose any fat whatsoever you have to eat at home let me tell you first of all it's a lot healthier second of all you are avoiding a whole plethora of calorie rich foods that will help you to keep the weight on so if you eat at home it's a lot healthier and when you, it's something psychological about cooking your own food when you cook your own food and you see what's going into that food you're less likely to over salt it you're less likely to put a whole bunch of oil in it you're less likely to do those things Try it when you're in the kitchen and you're cooking your own food. See, it's something inside of us that don't want to damage ourselves if we're doing it ourselves, right? 
It's, it's so funny, but we'll damage ourselves if someone else is doing it to us. We wouldn't do it to ourselves, but if someone else do it, it's totally fine. So if that man, that, that chef put all of the sauce and all of the oil inside of my pasta, that's totally fine. But if I'm looking at it, doing it, I'm thinking twice, like, oh my goodness, am I really doing this? Do I really need that much salt? I'm going to be swollen in the morning. I'm going to look like a Oompa Loompa. I'm going to look crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's psychological. So when you're cooking at home, you are not only a Avoiding that, but you are getting in tune with the psychological part of really taking care of yourself, really, really trying to do and be the healthiest you that you can be. So that's what I made sure to add in that plan for her specifically so she wouldn't have any reason to stray out for her plan. Another thing that I did was make sure to add in foods that she loved, that I knew that she loved salmon. I knew that she loved other kind of shrimp and different things like that. I I was able to create a meal plan for her, which she still lost weight. She's still in good health. Her blood. That's another thing. Her blood pressure dropped. You guys, her blood pressure dropped way down. Remember how mine did? If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this video that you guys see right here. I showed you guys my full fitness journey. My blood pressure was dangerously high and it dropped and so did hers. So yeah, her blood pressure dropped as well with the meal plan. And like I said, it was foods that she absolutely loved. So she did not stray. Not one time. She even said that she was not even tempted to stray because the food was so good and just seasoned so well. I also had her incorporate apple cider vinegar. Child, before me talking about apple cider vinegar, she did not even know about it. She did not even know about the wave of apple cider vinegar and what it does for your body. And if you are not familiar with apple cider vinegar, first of all, check this video out right here. I dropped some pounds, dropped some bloating and all of that incorporating apple cider vinegar into my daily regimen. I still do it to this day. And you just take a small amount of apple cider vinegar. I'm very specific in that video that you guys see there but just take a small amount half of a shot add it with your water shake it up every day drink it first thing in the morning or whenever you want to drink it really before your first meal and that's what I had her do drink it and what apple cider vinegar does is it curbs your appetite it helps you not to overeat because a lot of people don't realize the reason you fat anyway is because you're just overeating if you stop eating so much you will be just fine and drop the weight Okay, so apple cider vinegar does just that helps to curb your appetite and you just want to eat less. And in turn, guess what? Boop, boop, you weigh less. And that's exactly what happened with her. So I definitely recommend that. Do not skip out on that sauna. You guys, if I would have known all of this, I literally would have just did what I told her to do and cut out all of the extra stuff with me losing my weight. And I even tried this for a week and I, what I didn't like about it though, and I'll be completely honest with you guys, me, I like, you guys see my frame, my body, I'm naturally muscular, right? And it just leans me out a lot. I I could just feel it when I start doing something, I could feel it leaning me out and I'm like, I don't want to be too skinny. That's why I went through all that. I went through anyway, not to be super skinny because that's my normal frame anyway. So that's the only thing about the consistent cardio with the cardio every single day versus doing hit just that, that steady state cardio. It leans me out a lot. And I just like to do hit because it, it preserves my muscles. So that's the only trade off that I wouldn't do compared to what I did do. I would have cut out a couple of things that I did if I could have known that I could cut corners and lose it this way. Her meal plan really taught me something within itself. So I'm super excited just to even share this with you guys. So make sure what I recommend is at least if you're going to do this, at least add in 30 minutes of cardio every single day or five days a week, at least five days a week. I recommend hit if you want to preserve those muscles, if you want to look super lean, steady state cardio is where it's at. And one thing I'm so frustrated that I even, I should have just kind of got her in and to share an inkling, just a picture of herself. But one thing that she made crystal clear at the beginning of her weight loss journey is she was like, Keisha, I'm going to be honest. I do not want to be on your channel. I do not want to be on your YouTube. I mean, on your Instagram or anything like that. I just wanted to be personal with me and you. She just really wanted to. She could have honestly did what I did and lost the weight, but she just wanted that personal one on one. She wanted something that was customized to her. She didn't want to overexert herself, overly work out, and she still wanted to keep meat into her diet. So she kind of needed that one on one support. And I gave it to her because she deserved it. She deserved the right to her own privacy as well. So it's totally fine. But the good thing is, is that you guys see my results. You guys know I'm good for what I say. So cut out what I said in this video 
video right here and just try doing this, especially if you're older and up in age like her. Just try these methods and I'm sure that it will help you just as well as it helped her. I'm so excited just seeing her today. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so proud. Every single way in week by week, she was dropping so much weight. Yeah, she lost the weight. So can you try these methods? Get back to me in the comments and let me know if it worked for you.